Pionotters, did you know that art can make you more resilient? We all love to create. I'm so much in awe about what art has given to me that today I was talking about that with my oldest son. How much art my life improved. As I was listing all the things, I was very much amazed by how long this list is. But somehow it struck me that art is basically making us more resilient. It improves your mental and emotional resilience. So being resilient isn't something you are only given by birth, but we can train ourselves. So I tried to unravel it and found out how art helped me so much. Everybody that is an artist knows art is a true form of bravery. You take risk. You conquer the white page and then with creating something you are setting up yourself up for something that you will not know how the end will be or even when it will end. That can be a little daunting too at the start. It can be scary to not know what it will be that will come out of your hands, especially when you are not familiar with the medium you are using. You don't know if you will like it or if you will think it, hi it is hideous. Thus, making art is allow yourself to go on a journey without knowing where you will end up and at what time. Creating art is also a way of expressing yourself without the burden of any language. You tell your story without any words. Every brush with paint is a step in the unknown. But even if you make a mistake, it can be erased or replaced with a large dollop of paint. That is also very assuring, a very assuring feeling and may give you some self-esteem in life too. Most steps you take can be erased or changed in another direction. The key thing is that making art allows us to develop. It allows us to grow and express ourselves in so many ways. Through making art, we can grow as an artist, but also as a person. Art is making connections in our brains, which aren't yet fully understood, but it is obvious that it is something that works well in order for you to be able to face life difficulties. So you train your mental resilience through art by learning to meet challenging circumstances, you solve problems, you come up with alternatives, and you learn to be creative and flexible with any solution. And then your emotional resilience is trained by learning to deal with fear, negative emotions like anger, sadness, and even vulnerability. The fun part of this whole story is that today's art was a struggle. I had taken on the color palette given by Estee and Laurie's challenge on Instagram and the prompt for today was feline, hence the cat. But this cat was definitely a challenge for me. I had made a pencil drawing before I started, as I do that often. So I have a head start on what to do, and I totally trusted the process. Well, at the start I did, but halfway I was getting a little discouraged, as I thought it was going nowhere. I thought it was too bland, it had no schwung, and it was about to, and I was about to give up on her. But I didn't. I kept pushing myself, and with a lot of marks, doodles and um, uh, acrylic pens, I think in the end it was what it should be.
way, it's so important to not let life keep us from creating as we need a little bit of happiness and bliss too. I know you all have hardships. I know we can feel overwhelmed at times and anxiety can kick in on those days. We need our art practice. But art helps us to process our emotions in order to live a more blissful life. Within all of this said, I show you, as I said before, the art I created today. I use no filters whatsoever. And today I had in mind to talk about resilience. And this is what I came up with. It isn't about beauty or picture perfect. I want to show you we have good days and we have bad days. We have days we are doubting and we have days that everything is is going um, right and what we want. It's But it's all about the process, showing up and that way we can feel a little bit better. And together we can do this. I try to live a simple life, enjoying the little things like a butterfly on a flower or my doggo who puts, puts his head on my lap to get a cuddle. If we focus more on that and practice art, we will start to live a more meaningful life, filled with little sparkles, instead of aiming for the big unfulfilled stuff. If you like this YouTube, please give me a thumbs up. And if you are so inclined, you can also subscribe to my channel. And that way I can motivate you even more to start your daily practice of art and to show you how I keep doing it. I wish you a wonderful day and I hope you will enjoy the little things in life. Do please create something today. Enjoy your loved ones and go for a walk. Pick some flowers. Um, enjoy the sun or the rain for so uh, for, for that matter. Anyway, a big hug from me and bye bye for now.